So, if you guys had no idea, uh, Game Freak is um, releasing a Chestnut Raid on the 12th of May. Uh, currently, when I'm filming this video, it's, it's the 9th. And we don't have too much information about Chestnut. Like, all we know is that Chestnut is a terror rock. And that's it. Like, we don't know the moves it has. We don't know, like, basically anything about it apart from the terror type, right? But just from the terror type alone, just from the terror type alone, I have conjured a few counters for the raid. They've shown that it's terror rock, and, like, that's it. But, like, just by using that, I think it's plausible to like make like a few counters. So the first one I want to talk about is the obvious one. Like the super, super obvious one. I'm getting this out of the way now. Like if you're watching this video, more likely than not, you have Annihilate built already. Look, and <laughs> Annihilate will probably work. We're also like every single raid, people always say like, oh, this raid, Annihilate won't work. Or like, oh, that raid, Annihilate won't work. Or like this raid, you can't use Annihilate. Look, Annihilate is too, too, too versatile, okay? I don't know what Game Freak did to Annihilate, but it just works on everything. Literally PvP, PvE, literally just any form of content. We just have like the standard moveset, like a Rage Fist, Drain Punch, Screech and Bowl Cup. We have Defiant. Um, you'd most likely want to go with a uh, Terra Fighting, just so you can do super effective damage with Drain Punch. Well, yeah, uh, Annihilate most likely will be the best <laughs> Pokemon to use, just because it's always the best Pokemon to use for literally every single raid in this game's history. I have, look, Annihilate, just, yeah, Annihilate. Now that we have that out of the way, I want to speak about Lorantis. Um, I think I have gameplay, like, playing right now, showcasing, like, Lorantis in uh, Terror Raid. But yeah, I think Lorantis will be, like, a very, very good option. And, um, basically, the strat that you want to use for Lorantis is, I mean, like, first off, you want to have a uh, country as the ability. So what country actually does is it, um, it basically reverses, um, normal stat changes. So, like, for example, if someone hits you with, like, Growl, Normally, Growl would lower your attack. Um, a Pokemon with Country will actually get increased attack. Uh, if you use, I don't know, uh, Swords Dance, your attack will actually go down by two stages instead of going up. So it's basically just like the opposite, right? Lorantis has access to Leaf Storm. Normally, Leaf Storm lowers your uh, special attack by two stages. Uh, because as Country, it actually increases it by two stages. Normally, you can only use uh, Leaf Storm like five times because it has uh, five PP. So I recommend increasing it to like at least six because you're gonna use um, Leaf Storm three times, obviously to get to plus six. And at some point the boss will uh, revert your stat changes uh, back to zero. So you need to use uh, Leaf Storm again, like three times, so you can get uh, back up to plus six. Uh, Leaf Storm in itself is actually like a decent move, like what, has 130 base power. So yeah, definitely very strong. Has 90% accuracy. So I guess you can increase the PP to like eight, just in case like any uh, Leaf Storms uh, miss. But for the rest of the moves, we have uh, Sunny Day, uh, synthesis and solar beam so basically um so ideally uh, what you'd want to do is use sunny day first turn so the sun is up the reason why we're doing that okay is because synthesis actually heals us by like three quarters in the sun like three that's basically like <laughs> all of our hp in the sun which is really really good and solar beam as you probably already know solar beam doesn't take any time to charge under the sun so like yeah so first turn sunny day second turn to um fourth turn you use uh, leaf storm and then like a uh, fifth turn you just spam solar beam if sunny day goes away just sub uh, sunny day again if the uh, boss gets rid of your special attack buffs just use a uh, leaf storm again and just like rinse and repeat just use solar beam Lorantis and raids is actually criminally underrated i see no one speak about it which is why i'm showing gameplay of it uh, right now but yeah no Lorantis is definitely definitely a pokemon to use uh ev wise i've built it um 252 in hp 252 special attack, modest nature, uh, it has Terra Grass and it's holding the Shell Bow. Obviously you can Terra into Grass like whenever you want and Solar Beam will do like crazy, crazy damage. So yeah, that's Lorantis. Um, I don't think I've even mentioned this, but obviously Grass is super effective to Rock, which is why I chose Lorantis as like, you know, like an option to use for the raid. Now we have uh, Azumarill slash uh, Iron Hands. Now, um, I don't know if these options will be like the best. All I know is that Azumarill gets uh, Belly Jump, and Iron Hands also gets Belly Jam. Azumarill is a water type. It has access to Liquidation, which is super effective against Chestnut. Because Chestnut is um, a rock type. And Iron Hands has access to Drain Punch and Close Combat. So it's also super effective against uh, Chestnut too. The reason why I'm not like too confident in these options is just because like... They've not really been too good in like previous like spotlight raids. Like I've never really seen anyone use Iron Hands or like Azumarill to like beat like a spotlight raid. They're good in like 6 star tier raids. 7 star tier raids though... I don't know it's just it's just like ah Billy John like deducting like half your HP is a lot like that's that's definitely like a lot right but they could be good they could be good again 
They are super effective against the boss. Iron Hands will probably be a better option to use over a zoom roll only because Iron Hands gets access to Drain Punch. So like after you uh, use Belly Drum, you can like heal your HP back with um, Drain Punch. So there's that. So yeah. Well, yeah, um, that's Iron Hands and Zoom Roll. Uh, for both of them, I bought them uh, max HP and max attack. So, yeah, there's that. The final Pokemon I want to talk about is Golden Go. And I feel like Golden Go will be the best option to use. Even that all around is, I think. But uh, basically, like, the strategy you want to do with uh, Golden Go is, uh, like, turn one to three, you want to use a uh, Nasty Plot. After that, you want to use like Metal Sound maybe twice or three times if you can. What Metal Sound does is it lowers the opponent's uh, special uh, defense by like two stages, which is good. And then just launch, launch, launch uh, Flash Cannon. And if you want to Steel Beam, it'll do half of your HP, but it will do ridiculous damage. Like, like ridiculous. With plus six special attack and like two Metal Sounds off on the opponent, trust me, it will actually nuke. It will nuke Chestnut completely. I built a uh, 250 twin HP and 250 twin special attack, and we do have the shell belt. I think we have the shell belt on like, all of them, by the way. So yeah, um, the reason why I think that Golden Go will be the best option is because, well, first off, Chestnut is a um, it's a grass type. Golden Go is a steel type, so it's resistant to uh, grass. Chestnut is also a fighting type. Uh, Golden Go is immune to fighting because it's a ghost type as well. So just naturally, just naturally, Golden Go existing counters uh, Chestnut. Chestnut does get access to like a uh, crunch. I don't know if Chestnut will have crunch in the raid. Obviously, like the raid is not out. This is just like a speculation video to like what Pokemon might be the best. If Chestnut does have crunch or like, I don't know, bite or just like any super effective move in general, uh, Golden Go probably isn't the best option to use anymore just because it's super super squishy just in general but if chestnut doesn't have anything that's super effective against uh golden go then golden go most likely will be the best option to use i really want lorantis to be the best option though i really want lorantis to be the best option just because i love lorantis it's it's so underrated just in general it's so underrated like i want people to build lorantis and just experience it please please look if you don't have a lorantis build build it and trust me you won't regret it but yeah um that's basically all of the options that i uh, thought of uh if you have any more then let me know but yeah uh, i think that'll be it for me uh like the video if you enjoyed uh, subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next uh video